I will return. I will find you. Love you. Marry you. And live without shame. This is a famous quote by, well, nobody. I love this quote to its true sense. It gives me goosebumps about my Esther's relationship goals. Good morning, dear Toastmasters, judges and guests. I'm here to talk about an intimate relationship I developed with Bouncy. Certain relationships last for a lifetime. Certain relationships are like passing clouds. Certain relationships are like speeding cars. You can easily skip them, still find them in the next signal and say hello. Certain relationships you carry with you for a long time, even if you don't want. The year was 2005. I was depressed in my life. Not because I was 24. My parents decided to get me married. I was at the prime of my life, visiting pubs and rocking on the dance floor. And I even had friends who were ready to mingle. Marriage at 24 is child marriage. That's when I met Bouncy. The moment I met her, she came into my life. Wherever I went, she was there. The best part in my bike was hers. The moment I climb on my bike, she'll be the first one to climb before me and sit in front of me on my petrol tank. That was the lovely spot she liked. Even now I have her in my life. My wife hates her, but my children love her and calls her cutely, cute, bouncy, bouncy. And here is bouncy, bouncy. Yes, it's my belly. <clears throat> it has been part of my life for long. I had an on and off relationship with Bouncy for a long time. Whenever I hit the gym, she'll freak out because of my fitness goals. I always like to fit in a crowd. The last year, I got additional challenges. I could not even fit in my own clothes. Last year, if you remember, a lot of us were working from home, sitting at home, and this guy brought, sitting is the next smoking. I got all fired up. The next day, I woke up early than usual, wore my workout clothes, went straight to, not the gym, to the kitchen to see what was for breakfast. <clears throat> Last year, the entire nation, the world had a turnaround in their life. But all I got was to turn around in my life. Eight months exactly after the lockdown, I could see a lot of my friends, neighbors trying to be fit, walking down trying to shed their flab and many were trying to be fit for the ninth month. For those who do not understand this, many of my friends have become parents to a second kid and many have now two and staring at the third one. I'm not that lucky, but Bouncy is back in my life. Like Hrithik Roshan, I always wanted to have a six pack. What not didn't I do? I went to the gym, joined a CrossFit class, cycling, running, even keto diet, paleo diet, global corporate challenges. I did everything. But like my fitness trainer, I also lost my motivation. Now my fitness trainer has this mantra in his life. Aloysius, getting into shape is not the goal now. Trying to be fit and you can do anything is the target. 
if a picture can say thousand words now i look at my own picture i get only five words in my mind i love you my bouncy i've started living with bouncy i've learned to live with her now i consider her as the reserve in my life this reserve could help me any time i'm not even if i fall now i can fall down with confidence that my beer belly which has grown out will confidently save me i can bounce back at the same rate i fall my children have now started playing again and bouncing on my belly saying bouncy bouncy what do you say contest master